thirty dollars from Mimzu. Thank you for your donation. We have a donation from Lisa Chaput. $25. Nick, aka Marsh, this donation is from Nana and Grandpa. We are very proud of you and what you're doing for a cause that is hitting so close to home. Good luck and lots of love from Florida. We have a $20 donation from Savara. Awesome fun thus far, guys. Keep up the good work. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right, so the first thing that we do in this run is uh, Chaos Zero, start off with a boss fight. Uh, it's actually one of the most technical ones. It's pretty much the only boss that I can really manipulate. Um, so yeah, pretty much everything I do in this fight is just to make him stay still and not really move around too much, because uh, that always wastes time. That was a pretty good fight. Movement is pretty simple in this game. Uh, B and X are both spin dash buttons, and I, oh, and I basically just alternate between them. Am I okay to get a few donations in, Marsh? Yeah, go for it. All right, cool. We've got a $50 donation from Picasora, who says, I expect the cosplay to return in later parts of the marathon. I'm thoroughly looking forward to it. Thank you very much for your donation. We have a $50 donation from Adam Reed. Thank you for your donation. We have a $50 donation from, and I apologize if I butcher this name, I got to watch past broadcasts before, but glad to watch this year live. Happy to donate. Thank you so much. This right here is the Ancient Light. Um, this upgrade doesn't do anything for me yet. Uh, once I get the uh, light speed dash, it'll cut the charge time in about half.
It's supposed. This is supposed to be a three-stage fight, but if you just keep homing attacking him, he just goes down in uh, a few hits. Hey guys. Uh, is there still hard mode for Mega Man? Uh, yep. Uh, it has been met. It has been met, okay. Um, anything else in Mega Man block? Sounds good. All right. Oh, can I read not a, enough speed there. Can I read a couple donations? Oh, I got it. Uh, there are a couple frames right there. Uh, if you end up missing the jump, after you hit that bumper, there's a chameleon that you can't target until it becomes visible. Um, so you have a couple frames to do that. Uh, that makes up a bit of the time you lose from missing the jump in the first place. Uh, there's time for donations now. Okay. Um, just to hear one from uh, Julian Reck. Uh, hello from France. Thank you for this awesome event. And let's go for Sonic 06. PS Castlevania hype. Uh, and also a $10 donation from uh, Cyberbot X, who says, I may not be able to see the entire Sonic Adventure run because I'm preparing to leave to join you all there. But good luck, Marsh. Let's uh, try to get the SMB3 Warps run going. Yes. Cool. Thank you both for your donations. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, there aren't too many kill planes just lying around the stage, so anytime the end is below you, you can pretty much just jump to it. Oh, wow. I try to avoid getting too close to him so that doesn't happen. That guy usually doesn't start so close to you. I forgot to check before I tried to spin dash. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm... So this right here is supposed to be the first time you use the light speed dash in the game. Oh, right, and that's the power-up I just got. Uh, but those stairs are a convenient ramp to jump from. Anytime you can avoid using a light speed dash, it's good because it takes a while to charge up. Oh, I didn't get the camera around that platform, so I lost track of where I was. That's better. Um, so yeah, there's normally something about rings in this level. You have to collect, I believe, about 400 of them in order to, in order to, uh, basically that room just has a bunch of invisible walls, um, and until you get 400 rings, it's supposed to just make it impossible to get up to the Chaos Emerald.
Donate to pick up the tails plus you or either of the prints. So get your bids in now. Or donations, I should say. So normally here you're supposed to do a snowboarding mission or mini game. <laughs> but thankfully you can just walk outside of the boundaries. It takes about I think it's like two and a half two two and a half minutes to do the snowboarding, so this saves a pretty good chunk of time. Perfectly intended. Oh yes, very much intended. Um, you do have to be a little careful because um, there are kill planes that you can hit. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the kill planes here are exceptionally weird. Yeah, the kill planes are basically different sizes depending on what version of the game you're playing. Um, this game is one of the more forgiving ones. Um, I'm pretty sure the Steam release is the least forgiving. There's also an odd, like, static noise that starts to play instead of the whooshing noise for the wind. Yeah. I've got a rather relevant $50 donation here from Lisa Chaput. Thanks, Thanks to the runners, organizers, and all of the participants. Great job as always. Shout out from home to the gamer formerly known as Mapler90210. Good luck from mom, Nicole, and the cats. Thank you very much. <laughs> Knuckles has some pretty good sound effects in this game. Uh, so this right here is the most annoying fight in the game. Um, he, it should be possible to manipulate him to do stuff, but there just isn't really a consistent way to do it. Um, as you fight him as Knuckles and Tails as well, I believe. Uh, definitely Tails. I'm not entirely sure for Knuckles, but. Um, it, like, for those two, you can just stay in the air and pretty much manipulate him to do the attacks you want. That should have been. Uh, basically, I don't want him to swipe at me, and I don't want him to turn into a bunch of balls. Uh, I lose a couple seconds if he swipes, and I lose, I believe it's eight seconds any time he turns into four balls and jumps at me. All right. Um, So far, he's just been sending a shockwave, which I believe is actually the fastest attack you can do. Um, the one I'm trying to manipulate is for him to is the second fastest, which is him splashing um, right there, uh, which is the one that I'm supposed to be able to manipulate. I don't I, I don't have any idea how you're supposed to control um, the shockwave, but for splashing, usually if you stay in the air and a decent distance away to his side, he'll splash. Um, but again, it's not that consistent. Nope. All right, well, 
that was his last chance to do anything else, so. Oh, goddamn. Um, so I don't really know what that, why that happens, but it, yeah, it's a feature, yep. It's, it's his last defense, just send you up into the sky for a little while. Just to cut in here quickly, we have a $350 donation from Cave Dog. Oh, geez. Oh. This is my donation for those kisses which were so kawaii. I also added an extra $50 for the Trihex kiss because he probably enjoyed it more than SJ or Worcester. <laughs> Love you all and good luck on the runs. Thank you, Cave Dog. Thank you so much. All right. Um. Yeah, go right ahead. You look like you're in a pretty tough spot. Oh yeah, this is um, this is very tough. Alright, do you want to try three players on controller? Four players on controller. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Every, got, everyone grab a tiny little yeah. bit. Everyone, yeah, hang on. Oh, yeah, oh, just, oh, oh, oh. Right. Okay. Just, just hold somewhere. <laughs> I'll, I'll right. yep. I've got perfect. Hold the five yeah, I might jump out of your hand. Oh, yeah. oh one, thing to, one thing to note, um, fun fact, if you press the controller, it actually, uh, you actually uh, have to get uh, more accuracy if you don't press anything. It's weird. Yeah. yeah um, like, do, you, do you guys want to grab like some of the mics if you're going to say stuff? Or are you just going to sit here and chill? We're going to yell at you. Yeah, we're we're gonna gonna yell yell. Yeah. Gonna, okay. I might say something, but I we'll come. Um, we'll be uncomfortably right. close. Whatever, I'm, I'm whatever you guys want. But I can't guarantee it'll be good to you. We're doing well. Yeah, this is like yeah. important. This this is, uh, yeah, no, we, I don't think we've lost a single frame yet. This is, yeah. we're doing yeah, good, guys. It's okay. minimum score. Uh, we also, okay, we got him. I was, I was gonna say we didn't, but. Oh, sorry, were we going for 100% or 100%? Uh, I think it's low. Well, low percent. Low percent. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, don't you see the score? We want to have a yeah, yeah, help us. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Let's phase out there for a second. Sorry, I hope I didn't let the seat down. No, okay. not at all. Okay, okay. okay. I, might, I might grab a mic. <laughs> Alright, uh, just, just let them know what the number is. Uh, <laughs> on the, yeah. Oh man, you hold on to that guitar the library, man? Yeah, yeah. 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 We, we didn't lose it. We kept it steady. Yeah. yeah. God, like, there, there are three of us. Yeah. I mean, Sky Chase, you do not want to tilt the control of that at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just don't. Just, yeah, don't just, touch it. Yeah. yeah. Just, just leave it on your shirt and tie. Pretend it's yeah. not there. New single technology is weird. Okay, we did it, guys. We did it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, man. No time lost. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> I'm I'm glad. Serving you, serving. you came at the perfect time. I don't know what I would have done. Well, yeah. uh, and in honor of... Oh, yeah, there's going to be another one. I'm, I'm sorry oh, I didn't come up earlier. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was, it was nice here by myself. Alone. No one to talk to or support me <laughs> in any way or fashion. In honor of the no time lost, we have a $100 donation <laughs> from Bill Baggins. Hey again, glad to see another AGDQ. I'm donating again this year to get my cat's name Waffles to be the Tyler Princess for our name. And I will be donating no, to that right I don't know, man. Tony Goo! Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Japanese with German subtitles. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah yes. that, is, that is a thing. That is a thing. Right, all right. That's, it's, I'm, I'm liking it. Yeah, I like it too. That's why, that's why I go with it. it. Took me a long time to find the right combination. There. So you can either choose English or Japanese for the voices, and then there are like oh, okay. seven languages for the subtitles, I think. You going for the crazy scale? Uh, yeah. Not the task skip, but the, um, the normal skip <laughs> that I okay, hope is the one you're calling crazy. <coughs> oh, what? Crazy. This, one, this one skip. Okay. Uh, going in blind. Oh, I got it. Nice. nice. Oh, shit. shit. <laughs> okay, uh, it, that actually is a problem. If you lose your rings there, you can miss that jump. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah um, it also this, means I'm going to go a little slower here. Yeah, the, the the speed here is determined by how many rings you got. So if like um, sometimes, <coughs> even if you make that, it's it's weird. Basically, you need a certain amount of rings back to be able to do that skip. Um, yeah. What? 
Oh, I think it's 80 something, 89 or 87 maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, THC would probably be the only one who knows because he's the one who uh, did the task for this game and actually looked at speed values. Alright, good camera angle. Perfectly intentional. Oh, oh no! Oh. Huh. I'm not entirely sure what went wrong there. Um, There's no plenty of skips in this level, though. Yeah, there, there are plenty of skips in this level. This level's really roundabout. Um, <laughs> I think you do like three full loops through the level. Uh, somewhere over here? Yeah. Fine. The physics work really well in this thing. <laughs> I've got a $50 donation from me, Gamester. Hey there, I missed out on donating a lot because my front window broke. Luckily, I have insurance. So whatever the window costs, I will also place to charity. Also wishing my grandma the best of luck who is under treatment of lung cancer. Keep up the work, guys. Thank right. you and the best of luck. All right, double tap. Double Welcome tap. Welcome to Tinku Pop. That's English. Oh, yeah, that wasn't English. It's just the whole thing. <laughs> yep. Nope. This thing is impossible to pick up. There we go. Um, yeah. It's just surrounded by a lot of things that are, like, really thin, but you still bounce off of them. So, the fact there's just the, no good way to get to it. The fact that the button to pick it up is the same as for this, as to do a spin. Oh, yeah. Fun. That's And it's the same as talking to people. That too. One, Thankfully, yeah. there's no one right next to it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna make this either. Yeah, I can put this on something. Like that. It's a feature, obviously. Oh God. Oh. oh. Yeah. This game does fun things. Um, if I get the camera lined up in time, I can just sort of... Run over. Oh, or not. Uh, I don't know where I can... I'm just gonna have to go around, I think. Take a bit of a detour. Yeah. Uh, where... Is... The helicopter shooting, or... oh, yeah. No, we skipped the helicopter. Yeah, yeah, Uh, spin dashing or not doesn't seem to make any real difference here. Uh, same with getting the speed shoes. <coughs> Just roll down, you ignore the... I think they're supposed to be walls. I think you can jump over them, but... Theoretically, okay. they, I don't know. They don't do much. Yeah, you basically... Oh, there's a hole. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know why it is that they actually always have 10 seconds at the end of each stage? Um, it's only for the ones that don't end with a capsule. Um, basically, they wanted to make it so time trials were consistent. Um, so, yeah, if you hit a capsule, it, uh, some of the stages, that's one of them. It, like, it ended with a capsule, so it didn't add any time. But, um... Oh. Yeah, they, they basically just don't want you getting a record with... Uh, so the reason I do this is because you, in order to trigger this cutscene, you just have to load the casino Ooh. area, which is the same as the train station. But they want you to go in uh, through the hotel entrance, uh, so they locked off the train station normally. But you can just clip through the wall. Uh, the old way used to be uh, jumping off the stairs and up and over the invisible wall. Am I good to go for a couple of donations? Ah, uh, go for it. Cool. Uh, I've got $30 from Rurik, and the message is shout out to Media Vida, a Spanish community following you guys right now. Thank you very much. I've got $25 from Susie Barry. Nick Mike would say great job, but he's still sleeping. So great job from the Barry family. The members that are awake at least. And I've got $10 from Metalman88, which says, Hey all, I just thought I'd donate for that Towers plush. Put this to whatever the comment reader wants. And I chose Kill the Animals. 
Oh, uh, I was too far to the right, I think. This level in particular has some really um, hard tricks. Yeah, this level's just dumb. There we go. Yeah, I was too far to the right the first time. Uh, great. <laughs> uh, it, as long as you stand still on that for a little while, it sends you to the next platform. But obviously, I was standing on a gap or something and couldn't stand still. Also, I don't know why I just spin dash then. I go into free cam here, otherwise the camera will suddenly jump off to the side during this jump. I don't really remember what that skips. It skips something. <laughs> it skips a lot. It skips a whole lot. Like five minutes. I hope, oh wow. I hope the level isn't that long without it. Everyone seems to have their own way of getting through this area without raising, uh, without raising the lava up. There are, I don't know. There's one way that's definitely the fastest, but it's also really hard and inconsistent. So most people have come up with some alternatives for it. Yeah, there's a couple of spots where you can just do a single spin back and then so you will be up a level already. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's just like a, uh, there's a rock in the middle of the lava that you can spin dash jump off of and get crazy height. Um, and one thing that is nice about that way is that if you, even if you do mi miss, sometimes you hit the trigger for putting the lava all the way up to the very top, and at that point you can just jump across everything anyways. Oh, you want to call up this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think right. I need your help. All right. Okay. I'll shoot one. Uh, you can shoot a bunch if you want. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it once. I'm going to try and hit something. Okay. We, we do have a boss at the end. You know that, right? <laughs> all right, cool. We're, we're ready. All right, you've got a while. Given the activities that's going on on screen right now, I've got a $20 donation that says, shout out to Fighter Paladin for destroying my favorite game. Sonic Adventure is the sole reason yes, my Dreamcast remains no, plugged into my TV. Oh yeah, Adam, what are you doing? <laughs> so he's, he's secret breaking low percent. Setting up for a trick. Different, oh, okay. Yeah. We're gonna speak this up. All right, well, this that. is news to me as well. I'm very excited to see this. I've tried to skip, never before seen. I came up with it right now. <laughs> nice. Right, right then or right now? Right now. I oh, came now, up with yeah. it after I did it. Okay. Nice. It's <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's... Oh, it's easy. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. I like the fact that I've like, got a cross there, but it didn't have to be anywhere. Yeah. Well, it, it, um, that, that's the true. homing missiles are, like, uh, it's weird. You fire straight in front of you almost no matter what you do, except sometimes it goes off at a weird angle. Um, and then you've got that like crosshair that if you hold the firing button down, which is any of the buttons on the controller, except Y. Y is useless. Don't use Y. Don't press Y. Just doesn't, no one speaks of it. But, um... No, it doesn't. Speak of what? Exactly. Oh, See, Adam gets yeah. Oh yeah, that's what Adam was setting up. That's yeah. that's a trick. That doesn't normally happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that that cut, Adam programmed that cutscene into the game by yeah. firing those. Yeah, I'm a human fan. Yeah. <laughs> You're a human? I'm a fan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the reason I need their help with this is because I've, all I've been practicing from this stage, it's so hard, all I could practice was the end boss. These two had to practice the main stage. That's... Yeah. Oh, so we can start the It's a good thing I made it down here, so. Yeah, no, I was worried. Yeah, I did. What was, was I going to do, do without I apologize. you? I didn't mean to keep you in space. We wanted to keep the audience. Yeah, the audience. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that was yeah. a climb up at the start, but... Wait, that's just different. What, what does? I don't remember seeing those great things in there. On those mountains. They might not. Which, which version do you play? Uh, I'll come play Paddle on PC. Oh, okay. This, this, this is my turn. All right, this, all right. this is what I practice. Mm. This, is, this, is, this is a tough one. It's probably the hardest boss fight. Yeah. I would say this is harder than Knuckles. Yeah, this might be harder than Knuckles. Wow. 
I can't even begin to I was, I was, how, I was how sweating. How? I was sweating. <laughs> I've got a $70 Thank donation you. from Thank Saren104. You. Good luck for to earn. The French community are watching you kill the cancer. Wow. That lips. Oh, wait, Abby, forgot your first plane back here. Yes. Skip the book scene. Uh, yeah, this, this isn't like, this isn't a real cutscene. This is just stuff happening mm -hmm. while I have no control over time. I guess more accurately, it's not a cinematic. You can skip cinematics. Like, this is somehow a cinematic. Because it has, it has, it just stops and does stuff. Did you know that you can soft lock the game there, by the way? Uh, I didn't. How? Actually, it's, maybe. Yeah. Uh, which... You, you can, uh, like, spin that back and down, but then... Um, jump past the kill plane and just fall indefinitely. Yes, yes, I've done that. Uh, okay. I'm actually skipping this checkpoint here. Uh, those spinning guys are weird to homing attack. Sometimes <coughs> they aren't high enough to get to the next one. Uh, but in general, it's safer actually to skip the checkpoint and just go straight on. Usually they're in a better position. Yeah, it's happened a couple of times to you that uh, oh. if you can't do a, a jump after, last, after the last time, then it just doesn't actually reach the platform. Yeah. It's too low. Like, <coughs> what happens if you shoot that rocket too early? You can't. Um, yeah, no, this one coming up is the only one that actually, like, has to face you. Uh, either that or it just turns to you quick enough, no matter what. I don't act. Oh, hey, it's over. Oh, hey. Oh, oh God. Oh. Well, this is fun. That wasn't too bad. I ran past the lane I was supposed to go to. Oh. Oh. I might not. Oh, he hit me. Good job. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much random. Oh, God. What? There's a trick I can try for if he doesn't hit me, but unfortunately, he hit me. So, that's the end of that. No, uh, uh, yeah, it's... There's not much you can do about the camera there. Oh, yeah, you were telling me about the uh, yes. soft watch here, too. Yeah, if you... Um, yes. When the ship okay. turns tilts upwards and like you're supposed to go and hit that button to turn it back. Um, you can actually hit the capsule before that happens and that's what I was going for there. Uh, there's one method that gives you a little more leeway with how late you can hit it though, which you spin attack at the, at the, flat, at the capsule. Or not spin attack, um, homing attack at it. But uh, if you do that, you can actually hit it so late that the ship is vertical enough that there are places where you can land, or rather where you cannot land. And in order for it to trigger the end of the stage, you have to actually land after hitting the capsule. Uh, so yeah, you can see the right? Oh yeah, this one's slightly harder than Knuckles, I think. Oh, wow. Missing play. Did you get RTP or that one? I, I don't know. Okay. That's probably a developer secret. I don't think they'll ever tell. Ooh, I got in there. Okay, um, so basically I got, the game just loaded this area and the cutscene at the same time, and didn't really know what to do, so it triggered the cinematic, but there was no actual cutscene to play. Only saved like a second. Yep. Uh, there's a button under the chair. Um, the orbs that uh, fly around you when you're charging your spin dash for whatever reason can hit buttons and enemies. And... So yeah, I just stood next to the chair and did that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, the trigger for this cutscene is just a uh, cylinder, so you don't actually have to go up to the platform. Uh, this boss is unique because he takes four hits, but you you deal double damage with your uh, light speed attack, which, as far as I know, doesn't affect any other boss or enemy or anything in the game. You only have to be careful that you don't hit him with your orbs on, because that would just do one thing. Yeah, if you hit him with the orbs from charging, then that's a problem. 
And also, like, there are weird situations where it'll still only count as one hit, even though you hit- Oh, god, okay. No. Um, yeah. So, you can also target the second thing that Eggman drops, and... Mm -hmm. it, yeah. It's a small target, and you tend to miss, mm -hmm. so that happens. Apparently, there are several ways to actually clip inside the pyramid. Uh, with yeah, there most are. Most of the characters, it just doesn't actually load up the zone. Right. Unfortunately. Another bit of RNG coming up? Uh, pretty much the only relevant bit of RNG coming up. The RNG. This tunnel, the pillars that rise and are on fire are on fire. <coughs> and. Yeah. It's not fun. I was really lucky there. Of course. Uh, okay. I I pressed A instead of X both of those times. So instead of charging up the spin dash and getting to the snake early, I just jumped on the switch and didn't accomplish a whole lot. Nice. Uh, I was standing on a really dumb part of the snake, so it uh, went back down as I was starting to jump. But I get another try at this, so that's okay. Oh no, I don't, because I pressed A again. There we go. I, oh my oh, god. Well, you can I can, yeah, I can, as long as I land here, I can climb up. Or that can happen because for some reason. <laughs> underwater physics. Yeah. They're good in every game. Although I'm very curious what that homing attack was targeting that it went downward. Maybe a box or something. There we go. Nice. Oh. Uh. Well, as long as I have a ring, it's safe. Uh, you're supposed to hit a bunch of switches in this area. Wow, first try. Ooh, first try. <laughs> yep. I can't, I can't jump, but as long as there's something to walk through, it's, it's fine. That's no problem at all. Yeah, right? What a useless skill. Oh, what the, what, what? Okay. Um... I do it with auto camera, yeah. Well, it's a it's a pain to switch camera constantly. Um, in the newer versions of this game, like when you choose a camera a camera mode, um, it'll like keep that camera mode for ever. But in this, like any time, oh, okay, well, any time you die or um, yeah, you can't really do the jump anymore. Yeah, um, the camera turns almost 180 degrees there, so um, unless I get to there with the camera already turned backwards, I pretty much can't do that jump in auto cam. Um, and honestly, with the, uh, with the ancient light upgrade, it doesn't save all that much time to do the jump over just charging it up. Uh, to do the jump after switching camera, that is. I have to be careful with this rock because it rubber bands a lot. Um, so if I go too fast, it'll just... It won't just catch up to me, it'll go right through me. Uh, and then it'll hit me again if I try to run past it. Yeah, the interesting thing is that when you find a spin bash down that hill, uh, if you're in mid air, you suddenly lose all the speed of the Yep. And then it catches up and hits you. Nice. Um, for safe, I think for safety, I'm just gonna kill myself at the very start of Final Egg. Um, it's not that hard of a level, but there are some things that can go wrong. There are two lives in that area, though. Two. <coughs> it takes about as much time to get them as it does to so just, just there's, die. There's like one right at the... Oh. There's one in the middle and there's one off the spring. Yeah, yeah, and again, it just takes about yeah, the same yeah. amount of time either way. Uh, plus, I end up with four lives, so... Yeah, true. Five you know, minutes. if I just, like, forget how to play in that time, then we're good. Oh, one. Hey, I got it. Nice. How does puzzle end up? Yeah. Yeah. That's a puzzle. Wait, 
was. <laughs> it, it was. Yeah. Stumped me. One that actually stumps a lot of people the first time. Um, I pretty much didn't play this game until I started speedrunning it, so... You don't expect for demos? What? Oh. Yeah, I said that, didn't I? Yeah. Well, you, there's a pit right there. Yeah, no, we're all in now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, well, you can find weapons if you want. Oh, but, funny thing. Um, oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, okay. I thought I could yeah. do that cylinder for a second. Yeah, yeah, these, these cylinders are interesting. Um, should I go for the really ballsy strat, or should I just go for the right, or should I just take the elevator? Um, I would take the elevator. The cool strat. Okay. Alright, I'll, I'll take the elevator. Yeah, you need an extra life to do that. Either. Well, not anymore. Uh, in no, in, well, <coughs> in, instead of the homing attack, if you just cancel it, half the time you'll just clip into the elevator. Oh, okay. uh, actually, more than half the time. It's probably about se uh, maybe 70%. But. Uh, do I still have auto cam? Alright, no, okay. One, two, four, five. Okay. Yes. Alright. Uh, that jump. <laughs> that jump has. Everybody has like a different okay. timing for that jump. It's like not. Yeah, it's a weird jump. <coughs> It is. You can't see anything <laughs> until the very end. And you don't jump straight towards it either. You have to turn at a point with no reference point or visual cue or anything. Is that like a kill phase or something? Yeah, there's, yeah. Well, I mean, if you miss it, then you just. There's one, at the, there's one at the very start of the jump that you have to jump over, um, which is why you don't just do a, like a, a spin dash off the platform. Because uh, you get more than enough distance with just a spin dash. Um, It's, yeah, it's just you have to jump over that kill plan. Um, and also, there's one like a little bit, uh, it's, there's one off to the right, and it's also if you go too far to the right, you actually end up back inside the stage. Uh, and at that point, I would have no idea what to do. Oh, it's really close to the I don't know if it's pretty nice to go back all the time. Oh. All right, so that happens if you don't hit him on the first frame possible. Um, you bounce off a little bit. Um, which it's not too big of a deal. You have to just make sure you keep moving afterwards. Otherwise, you will you can actually get him to stop doing anything, and the fight can take as long as you want it to. Actually, you can make it take as long as you want, anyways. But yeah, if you get it on the first frame, you just bounce back like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all of this. Right. Yeah, pretty much if I don't get it on the first frame, it's usually because I clip the uh, railing when I jump. Um, and it just holds me up just a little bit. That's so weird. Man, you'd be so yeah. screwed if you did that to on your side. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, it's, it's... Oh, wait, what am I... I was delaying early on that one. Um, you're supposed to delay on the last hit because uh, if you hit him immediately... Oh. Yeah. If you hit him immediately, he... You, like, you lose control right here for a little bit. Um, so if you hit him too soon, you're actually over the edge, and it's... It's not impossible to get back, but it's dangerous. You have to homing attack, and you don't really have a any camera angle to see what you're doing. Uh, so time in now. All right, it's not bad. Yeah. That's the end of this game. <laughs> Great way to end the run. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the support. I would have been lost without you guys. I, I couldn't have beaten Sky Chase. <laughs> You're very welcome. Could not have beaten it. That's the power of teamwork. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Teamwork every day. Because we're Sonic. I don't really? know okay. We're Sonic Adventurers. Yeah, something. Advent Adventurers. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Hang on, but this is now a, a, a co-op world record, right? Yeah. This, I, I guess so. With our thanks. I don't know if there's been a co-op run before. Exactly. Yeah.
I'm going to... Alright, so the first thing that we do in this run is uh, Chaos Zero, start off with a boss fight. Uh, it's actually one of the most technical ones, it's pretty much the only boss that I can really manipulate. Um, so yeah, pretty much everything I do in this fight is just to make him stay still and not really move around too much, because uh, that always wastes time. Alright, that was a pretty good fight. Movement is pretty simple in this game. Uh, B and X are both spin dash buttons, and I, oh, and I basically just alternate between them. Am I okay to get a few donations in, Marsh? Yeah, go for it. Alright, cool. We've got a $50 donation from Hikasura, who says, I expect the cosplay to return in later parts of the marathon. I'm thoroughly looking forward to it. Thank you very much for your donation. We have a $50 donation from Adam Reed. Thank you for your donation. We have a $50 donation from, and I apologize if I butcher this name, I got to watch past broadcasts before, but glad to watch this year live. Happy to donate. Thank you so much. This right here is the Ancient Light. Um, this upgrade doesn't do anything for me yet. Uh, once I get the uh, light speed dash, it'll cut the charge time in about half. This is supposed to be a three-stage fight, but if you just keep homing attacking him, he just goes down in a uh, few hits. $30 from Mimzu. Thank you for your donation. 
We have a donation from Lisa Chaput. $25. Nick, aka Marsh, this donation is from Nana and Grandpa. We are very proud of you and what you're doing for a cause that is hitting so close to home. Good luck and lots of love from Florida. We have a $20 donation from Savara. Awesome fun thus far, guys. Keep up the good work. All right. Three, two, one, go. Uh, is there still hard mode for Mega Man? Uh, yep. Uh, it has been that. It has been that, okay. Um, anything else in Mega Man block? Sounds good. All right. Can I read Not a couple of there? Can I read a couple of Oh, I got it. Uh, there are a couple frames right there. Uh, if you end up missing the jump, after you hit that bumper, there's a chameleon that you can't target until it becomes visible. Um, so you have a couple frames to do that. Uh, that makes up a 